everybody, Mike Jeffers here. We are on location at the Serbian Village. Probably the number one jam session in town. Sitting here with Tom Mulner, world-renowned piano player. How did you get this jam session started and why at the Serbian Village? There was a void and I thought Monday night is a perfect night to have a jam session. Right here at the Serbian. Yeah. Five and a half years. Five and a half years. Or close to five and a half. Years. And it starts at nine, goes to one. If you're a pro uh, or a reasonable pro jazz player, you're invited vocalists, instrumentalists, etc. We get a lot of great musicians in here. There's Larry Novak right there. Great world class pianist. 
I don't know if you've heard Larry's, uh, he has a CD out that came out maybe a year ago. Thank you. With the great Rusty Jones. And Eric Hochberg on bass, and it's a terrific CD. And one thing about this place, people shut up and listen. When you're playing, and there's some serious music that is played here, and they listen, and, it, uh, and it's a beautiful thing. And then, you know, like, uh, when you got guys like Kelly Sill on bass, he, he's very nurturing. And Phil is, too, and I am. Hey, everybody. We're here with Kelly Sill, a house bass player with Tom Mueller at the Serbian Jam Session. Yeah. Kelly, you teach a lot of students. You've played all over the world. You've played with some of the A-list guys in the world. How important is it for a jam session for younger musicians to come in and, and sit in and play? I think the best way to learn how to play is to play. And the best way to learn how to play well is to play with people who can play better than you do. And which means I think it's really important. It's important even for professionals to play with other professionals because in order to play, you need to play. What are the caliber of musicians, young guys coming in now with all of the jazz education that's happening? It seems like their, their level of playing is really getting higher and higher. The level of craft is getting higher. Yeah. The level of aesthetics is only as good as the aesthetics of the player themselves. So why do you like a jam session? What do you, what do you like about having a jam session? I mean, it takes a certain person oh, yeah. to run a jam session. Uh, it's, you know, put it this way. I don't want to have people hanging out at my house in droves drinking my liquor. So it's easier to just have it here. <laughs> Neither does your wife. Right. That's yeah, true. She doesn't even want me there. <laughs> no. Serbian Village tonight, uh, vibe player, and you're in town because you got a couple of gigs, so this works out great. Did you go to jam sessions when you were younger? Did they really help your uh, musical uh, knowledge as you as you grew into becoming a better musician? Sure. I'm trying to think when I started to go to a jam session was on in the south suburbs, okay, Chicago here. Yeah. And uh, I think it was 1973. I think that's when I started. Because I, I got to, to the vibes kind of late. I was a drummer first, yeah. and then I was a, a pianist, and then I was a classical, I studied classical piano in college for two years, and then I switched to percussion minor, then it was a major, and then I discovered <laughs> the vibes. Go, oh my god, I, I like this. <laughs> Tow, the house drummer at the Serbian Village. Phil, how long have you been playing? Have you started with Tom? Is that how you got started? Uh, at this thing? Yeah. yeah. It was the first Monday in January. I guess it was five years ago now. And I thought, you know, it was going to be another one of those deals where we would... Okay, they may, January. They may keep us for a month if we're lucky. <laughs> right. And we've had wonderful nights like tonight with just great, you know, yeah. friends coming out, good music being played. Well, and you've been on the scene for a long time, and there's been jam sessions come and go. I think this kind of is one of those unique ones that just has the right vibe, the right feel. I think it's more than the night that people get together. Musicians, mostly, not only musicians, of course, everybody, a lot of other owners coming from other uh, clubs and uh, different clubs, clubs yeah. from here, and they musicians have like uh, call each other and uh, set up other gigs and things like that. Yeah. You know? And you also have a full restaurant here, so if you want to come to the Serbian village, you can have some great food as well.
tonight we're kind of focusing on Rusty Jones because his birthday, um, the late Rusty Jones, right? his birthday would have been this Wednesday. So his wife Mary Ellen is here, and uh, we're kind of celebrating his uh, his, his birth. Mm -hmm. And he he was always uh, at jam sessions. He attended. He supported more musical causes in Chicago than just about anyone I can think of. Talk about someone who was nurturing. Years.